Hello to you, hello to all. I hope you are doing better than the world. I am happy to see you again, and I am taking you this time to the border between France and Switzerland, near the canton of Geneva. The canton of Geneva was formed and attached to the Swiss Confederation in 1815, within the framework of the negotiations prior to the signing of the Treaty of Vienna, provided that the territory of the new canton is in one piece, and contiguous to the territory of the Swiss Confederation. Which was not yet the case. For this agreement to be effective, it was necessary for the Kingdom of Sardinia, which was guaranteed to recover the Duchy of Savoy, and the Kingdom of France, to make territorial concessions in favour of the Canton of Geneva. It was therefore necessary to determine the territories that would be affected by such a change of sovereignty, which took some time. The current border between the Canton of Geneva and its neighbours thus dates from the end of 1816, with a few minor modifications since then. With the fall of the French Empire, and the sending of Napoleon I in exile on the island of Elba, the other European powers met in Vienna, in 1815, in order to redraw the borders of the different countries. Switzerland was concerned by these negotiations insofar as Geneva, the capital of the former French department of Lemon, and Valais, the former French department of Simplon, had been annexed to the French Empire under Napoleon, and that these territories were intended to be returned to Switzerland. During the long negotiations, which were to lead to the signing of the Treaty of Vienna, the principle of linking Geneva to the Swiss Confederation had also been agreed. But the Confederation was only to accept this attachment provided that the future canton was homogeneous and contiguous to Switzerland. However, Geneva was then cut off from Switzerland, very fragmented, and made up of enclaves in Savoy, in the canton of Vaud, and in the Pays de Gex. It is therefore necessary to obtain, from the kingdoms of France and Sardinia, territorial concessions, the only way to respond favorably to the requirements of the Swiss Confederation. The negotiations focused on a minimalist territory, only attaching the enclaves to the city of Geneva. But the fate of Switzerland, in Vienna, is not the primary concern of the European powers. The Geneva Treaty of Reunion with Switzerland was finally signed in May 1815. The Treaty of Vienna was signed a few weeks later, on June 9, 1815. This document, of nearly 300 pages, written in French, provided for the cession of certain territories in favour of Geneva. Within the framework of this treaty, it is also confirmed that the Duchy of Savoy, after 23 years of French occupation, has returned to the bosom of the Kingdom of Sardinia, with the exception of a few municipalities which are ceded to the Canton of Geneva, as we have just seen. So, on paper, the agreements had been signed. But it was still necessary to transcribe on the ground the various provisions relating to the new borders, between the Kingdom of France, the Kingdom of Sardinia and the Canton of Geneva. This also required negotiations to lead to the drawing of a new demarcation line between these three nations as precise and fair as possible, in support of the surveys made on the ground. These territorial modifications were ratified during the signing of the Treaty of Paris, on November 20, 1815, for France, in respect of the municipalities on the right bank of the Rhône, and the Treaty of Turin of March 16, 1816, for the Kingdom of Sardinia relating to the communes of the left bank. Thus, in order to ensure Switzerland the continuity of its territory between the canton of Geneva and that of Vaud, France ceded to the canton of Geneva six municipalities, generating a common border between the canton of Vaud and the new canton of Geneva, 4.6 kilometers long, north of Lake Geneva. The condition of contiguity imposed by the treaty is therefore fulfilled. On its southern flank, the canton of Geneva recovers a territory of approximately 109 square kilometers and 12,700 inhabitants from the Duchy of Savoy. At the same time, the European powers guaranteed Swiss neutrality through a declaration signed in November 1815 in Paris. All that remained was to transfer to the field the decisions that had been taken in Vienna, Paris and Turin between the canton of Geneva and the Kingdom of France and between the canton of Geneva and the kingdom of Sardinia. And that necessarily involved the demarcation of the border.
I personally scouted this line of the border on the ground, in three distinct areas, between the canton of Geneva and the French departments of Haute Savoy, on the left bank of the Rhone, and formerly the Duchy of Savoy, and Ainu on the right bank of the Rhone. That of Chansey with the famous terminal N degree 1, in the extreme west of the canton of Geneva. That of Dardagny, between forests and vineyards, to the north. And that of Juvigny to where the river Hermans flows into Lake Geneva, to the south. Some border markers are remarkable because of their location, or by the diversity of shapes, coats of arms or inscriptions that adorn them. They illustrate the evolution of the states having occupied the territories over time, as well as the geographical specificities of the places. They are considered as real historical monuments, witnesses of the evolution of sovereign states in the region. This is, for example, the case of Terminal N Degree 1. The village of Chansey is located at the western end of the canton of Geneva. Border marker no. 1 marks the western end of Switzerland, between trees, meadows and rocks. This marker dates from 1816, a year after Geneva joined the Swiss Confederation. It served as a reference point for establishing topographical maps of Switzerland in the middle of the 19th century, and is the starting point for the markings that mark out the country. Today, this historical landmark is on the border between France and Switzerland. But, originally, in 1816, it separated the Duchy of Savoy from the canton of Geneva. The course of the border was the subject of a review at the level of this famous terminal N degree 1, in 1898. Subsequently, it was rectified, and five terminals were added, indexed from 1.1 to 1.5, all a little further west of marker number 1. As these markers are more recent than those laid in 1816, the first letters of the country engraved on these markers are not the G for Geneva, and the S for Sardinia, but the S for Switzerland, and the F for France. Indeed, do not be mistaken as to the meaning of the letters carved on the terminals, because they can mislead. Thus, the letter S is not the abbreviation of Switzerland or Savoy, but that of the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia. Savoy will not be definitively attached to France until March 1860, and the inscription of an F, like France, was then not justified. On one of the faces of Terminal N Degree 1, the coat of arms of the canton of Geneva, a half-crowned eagle and a key, has been carved, and on the other, the eagle with outstretched wings of the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia. It is commonly mentioned that the westernmost point of Switzerland is at the location of Terminal N Degree 1, which is in fact a mistake. The true geographical point of the Franco-Swiss border furthest to the west is not located on dry land, but in the middle of the Rhone, as it was determined in 1898. This point also corresponds to the lowest point in altitude of French-speaking Switzerland. And there, there is no limit. The Rhone flows about 400 meters north of Terminal 1, near Terminal 1 Index 5. From this point, heading south, on the left bank of the Rhone, the border does not rest on any natural landmark, such as watercourses, a ridge line, etc. The international border of the canton of Geneva, entirely with France, measures 109 kilometers, of which 44 with the department of Aisne and 65 with that of Haute Savoy. Of these 109 kilometers, there are 54 materialized by waterways, including the Rhone. This leaves 55 kilometers of unnatural borders, through fields, meadows, woods, vineyards, with no apparent logic. The course of the border between the two French departments, those of Aisne and Haute Savoy, and the canton of Geneva, has changed very little since 1815. However, nine modifications have been recorded since 1947. Four rectifications were ratified by France and Switzerland in 2004, and related to minor modifications, all on areas of less than one hectare. As was written in a report by the French Senate, these rectifications contribute to giving the line of the border a more orderly and rational character, and above all better adapted to the modifications of the sites that it circumscribes, thus taking into account the developments of territories intervened over time, both in France and in Switzerland. 
As you walk along the border, which is not easy in the general absence of any markings, it is not uncommon to find yourself in comical situations. Thus, for example, the departmental road 15, between the villages of Ville Grande and Juvigny, is located entirely in France. But the shoulder or ditch, to the north of the road, forms the border with Switzerland. Some properties, based in Switzerland, can only be accessed via France. This raises a few questions I don't have answers to. What postman does the mail delivery? Is the electricity supplier French or Swiss? And many more questions. Another example. The slopes on the Dardigny side are covered with vineyards, with Garmery, Chasselas, Gamaret and Chereb as the main grape varieties. A Franco-Swiss agreement provides for a space one meter wide without vines on the Swiss side in order to make the border visible. This is not always the case in the field. This is the case, for example, between terminals 166 and 167. But obviously, on a daily basis, this is not a problem. The wine growers, both neighbors and foreigners, give the impression of living together completely serenely. And that's what matters. I note that, in the area of the village of Dardigny, the demarcation was carried out two years later than that done at the border with the Duchy of Savoy. Thus, the markers on this section of the border are dated 1818. On the Swiss side, the markers bear AG, for Geneva, and a fleur-de-lis on the side facing the former Kingdom of France. The Reborn Foundation, registered in Switzerland, is very active in the restoration of border markers between Switzerland and France. Its efforts are visible on the ground, and destroyed or missing bollards are refreshed or replaced. Individuals who so wish can sponsor a terminal that requires work. I hope you had a great time, found the topic interesting, and learned something. If so, consider subscribing to my channel. And I say to you, see you next time. With great pleasure. Thank you.